First this noon time, there are now new developments in a local story that is making national headlines. Yesterday, we told you how President Barack Obama commented on the firings of every single teacher, 88 in all, at the underperforming Central Falls High School. Well, now today, Governor Don Kachiri tells Eyewitness News that he also supports the controversial move. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler is live in Central Falls with the latest developments in this ongoing story. Well, while Governor Kachiri thinks it's unfortunate for Rhode Island to make national headlines for this controversy, he says he's pleased with President Obama's comments. From Rhode Island's smallest city to the U.S. Capitol, Central Falls is back in the national spotlight, with President Obama weighing in on the district's plan to fire all 73 teachers at the high school. If a school continues to fail its students year after year after year, but doesn't show any sign of improvement, then there's got to be a sense of accountability. And that's what happened in Rhode Island last week. It's one of the state's lowest performing schools. Central Falls High School must follow federal improvement guidelines to receive additional funding. Today, Governor Don Kachiri supported the president's comments. Remember, this is all about getting kids the skills that they need to be successful. And if we're not getting there, then we've got to change it. Last month, Superintendent Frances Gallo says she was forced into the turnaround method. The union originally supported a proposal that would save the teachers' jobs, but couldn't agree on a proper payment for extra hours worked. I think the uh, things that the superintendent asked for were eminently reasonable, 25 minutes more in the length of the day. I mean, it's very reasonable to spend more time with kids and other teachers. As the controversy continues at Central Falls High School, five schools in Providence are set to unveil their improvement plans next week. The mayor there is hoping for a different outcome in the capital city. We've worked very hard so something like that won't happen, that we'll get where we need to be uh, and that we'll do what we have to do to educate every child in the city to give them a quality public education, but do it in a real spirit of partnership. And in response to the uh, the president's comments, the teachers' union released a statement that reads, in part, we know it is tempting for people in Washington to score political points by scapegoating teachers, but it does nothing to give our students and teachers the tools they need to succeed. Now, I did just get off the phone with a union official who tells me they filed three unfair labor practice motions that will be heard as part of a appeals process in front of the city's school board of trustees. Live outside Central Falls High School with the Blackstone Valley Mobile News. Newsroom. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.